I've lived in Kabul since I was born. I went to school here and I grew up here. My life has changed a lot. After the Taliban takeover, I haven't been to school and I know when it will reopen. Huda was born seven years after the U.S. invaded Afghanistan and overthrew the previous Taliban government. Born into an affluent family and raised in Kabul, she is a child of the Afghan Republic. We have to get educated and do something for our country, but they won't allow us to go to school now and they give women less rights. The only life she has ever known in Afghanistan is one in which she was relatively free to dress as she liked, spend time outside with her friends, and say publicly what was on her mind. They used to throw stones at women who didn't wear hijab, so that scares me. I have to wear it now. I have no idea why they want us to dress like this. In the Republic government, I would wear jeans and shirts, now, like, I can't wear any of them. A year ago, her world changed overnight. When the Taliban entered Kabul on August 15, 2021, and retook control of the country, Huda was forced to encounter face-to-face -face men about whom she had previously only heard scary stories. August 15th, when I left the house, I saw one. I got scared and I hid behind a woman. I was like, let's just leave. I don't want to face any. I don't know what they're going to do to us, so just let's leave and not talk to them or face them. Hoda didn't know what to expect. She refused Sunday? to leave the house oh. for more than a month. How much chocolate? It's difficult now to walk outside because there are less women on the streets now. There used to be so many women before the Taliban take over, and you can not see much women now on these streets. Huda's mother, Najma Sama, is a respected gynecologist in Kabul, where she operates one of the city's largest maternity clinics. Najma Sama spent the first day the Taliban came to power in fear. It was a shocking day. I, I didn't believe that the Taliban uh, will come this much suddenly and sudden uh, occupying of the of the Kabul city. So uh, all all of the people were shocked and me as well. So um, I came to my hospital and checked. No female staff were come. So uh, we had so many patients. Uh, I. I called them that come to the hospital because we have so many patients. Female staff didn't because they were afraid of the Taliban, afraid of the situation, and afraid of coming alone with the driver. Najma Sama is planning on sending her kids abroad and having her husband accompany them. But she herself does not want to leave because she worries about abandoning her patients. Najma Sama is worried most of all about Huda's mental health. With schools prohibited for teenage girls, Huda hasn't seen her friends in months. Some of them have left the country with their families. Others don't want to go out or are not allowed to do so by their parents. Before the Taliban took over Kabul, I used to hang out with my friends or go to restaurants with my family. I'm not really allowed to go out now alone because the Taliban, they say you should have a mahram with you and alone you can't go out. For now, the Taliban have been limited in their enforcement of their strict social codes in the city of Kabul. But for girls like Huda, life in a Taliban-run world is new, unpredictable, and scary. As she doesn't know how long that will last, she mostly prefers to stay at home. She wants to move out of Kabul as quickly as possible and be just like all the other girls in the world. She wants her old life back, but the chances of her ever finding it again in Kabul are quickly fading away.